is level. I mean, I don't know case. if George yeah. Musa knew when he was talking to him that he was talking to a man who is, according to a judge, quote, outrageously violent, end quote. identifies flat that's what's going on yeah like i said flat globe it's it's basically applying the rule um it's flat but you can think of it as globe well we don't have to work at the really is level right guys yeah i mean the more you say that and the more you think back like you can if you watch that back now after knowing what you know about how what he said how he meant it and all that we can we can and do and we must think of, of Newtonian gravity as, as a force. That doesn't mean it really is, but we're not, we don't necessarily need to work at the really is level in this case. We yeah. can still think of it as a force. You can see Craig sat there desperately dying to snap his head off, but he can't. And he's realizing that he's wrong and he can't argue with him. <laughs> it's, it's glorious. So, um, I remember when it came out and Chocolate watched it before me because I don't know whether it was late in the, late in the UK, uh, well, at the time of the day, the, the, the time zones meant that I was asleep when it came out. But when, when Chocolate watched it and told me about it, he said, hey, you need to go and watch this. This is brilliant. And I was like, oh, really? Where? Tell me. And, and I went and watched it. And I, I just watched it. And I just Craig sat there like a bunny in the headlights. Yeah, but now think, you can uh... see, looking back, it's not being a bunny in the headlights. He's dying to snap his head off. Because if we said that, he'd never allow us to get away with that. But he couldn't argue it against him. And that's why he looks like a dick. Do you think really George exciting. Musa would still talk to Craig now that he's a convicted criminal, outrageously violent, says Judge Woman Beater? Do you think George Musa would still associate with him, being a convicted criminal or? Well, don't not. know, but I, I do often wonder why. I do often wonder whether George Musa wonders why I never got in touch with him. And obviously, I never got in touch with him because I don't need to. The soundbites sound bites are enough. I don't need to talk to him. Uh, but he must uh, be wondering, did he not get in touch? But I, I just, I'm just intrigued to know if George Musa, you know, would endorse Craig, you know, or would he, you know, be re-interviewed by him now that he's a convicted criminal and woman beater? I'm just intrigued to know. Does, does he support Craig and his woman beating endeavours as a convicted criminal? Does he support the fact that he's discussing globe earth matters with outrageously violent men, says Judge? Yeah. I, I heard um, Fight the Flat Earth challenging Bev um, and... My understanding of the the conviction that he got was to do with his neighbour and a push bike. But the, the rendition that he gave Bev was along the lines of, somebody broke into my house and threatened me and my family, so I battered him. Which is nothing like the story that is, is reported by the newspapers. No, but convicted violent criminal offenders often lie about the circumstances and the mitigation around the circumstances. You know, the fact that Craig's a liar doesn't surprise me. He's a convicted violent criminal and woman beater. Those are facts. He poked her with a cane. He poked her with a, what, offensive weapon? Yes, he beat a woman with an offensive weapon, that's correct. According to, his, according to him, he poked her with his cane. Yes. <laughs> so, so you say poked, I say beat. Beat, poked, you say cane, I say offensive weapon. But it's the dilution, isn't it? He dilutes it to make it sound very trivial. And, but at the end of the day, if it was that trivial, he'd have never been prosecuted. Yeah, right, and he wouldn't, you know, have to blame the victim when he described how she raged at him before he beat her with an offensive weapon. Now, he blamed the victim because that's often what violent criminals do. They blame the victim. In this case, the woman he beat, he blamed for him beating her. That's correct. Yeah, well, yeah. Was his neighbour, is the neighbour he's dealing is he referring to a woman? Or is that a separate... Oh, incident? no, that's a separate <laughs> woman-beating offence. That's a separate incident where he according to him, was raged at by a woman, so he beat her with an offensive weapon. That's Craig's other said, separate violent offence that wait, Craig also is committing. It's multiple offences it, that are violent, uh, uh, Brian. I think it was road rage, that one. Road rage, call it what you like. The guy's was... a violent criminal. Yeah, he is. I thought it was a single offence. No, no, Craig, Craig's got multiple violent offences to his name. I mean, I don't know if George Musa knew when he was talking to him that he was talking to a man who is, according to a judge quote, outrageously violent, end quote. 
Maybe George Musa, editor of Scientific American, didn't realise he was talking to an outrageously violent, says Judge Criminal, when he was talking about Globe Earth. Maybe he knew, maybe he didn't. Maybe we should find out. Does he endorse the woman beating that Craig gives out with his offensive weapons in separate incidents and the prosecution for violent crimes that Craig has suffered? Did George Musa endorse those things? Or maybe we should find out from, from George himself. I have this image of him battering this guy, whoever it was. Um, I have this image of um, Craig, Craig basically attacking this guy. But even though he's not Nathan Oakley, in Craig's head, he's got Nathan Oakley's head attached to this guy, and he's taking out his rage or flat earthers or out on this poor guy that may well have stole his bike and may well have done a little bit of dodge. But he's taking out his aggression from this topic and applying it against this guy. And that's why it was described as outrageously violent, because let's be honest, it was a push bike. I mean, if he stole it, yeah, he's a dick. But would you really, would you really fight somebody over a push bike, or would you just go to the police? Well, he's taking out his ring in this topic on that point. Yeah. It wasn't just a push bike. In fairness, it was a lead up supposedly to incidents. So there was other stuff going on. It was just a constant with, with his neighbour. Was in fairness, his neighbour has had bad behaviour. I see. So and yeah, it was the same with the with the woman. It was the same with her, wasn't it? The random woman who would quote according to rage according to craig raged at him end quote that that was a build up over a period with that random woman he poked with a offensive weapon correct that was also built up over time bit of a pattern for him though right i don't know about that <laughs> but he don't and these are only the ones we know about him so it's both he's simultaneously it's 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 craig expresses his outrageous violence says judge both because of a build up over time because of a drug addict neighbour because Craig lives in a terrible area that's full of violent criminals, him, thieves the guy he's dealing with according to him and drug addicts according to the judge so that's the general life of Craig I mean I don't know if Musa knew any of this either but there we go, that's just Craig's life as a convicted criminal, violent outrageously violent says judge and these are only the two that we're aware of. I mean, how many other instances were there where they didn't go to the police because there's a general distrust and a disdain towards police these days? But you just let a lot of stuff go because it isn't worth the hassle of dealing with the police. Well, these are just the two we know about. Yeah. And there's no, there's no pattern in regards to, oh, it's only because he was suffering from the drug addict thief neighbour for a long period, therefore he snapped. All right. But simultaneously, a woman rages him that's random on some road rage incident, and he also snaps and starts using offensive weapons against random women. It's like, no, no, the guy's just a violent criminal. Yeah, pretty much, because the victims are totally separate. Well, then the question is, does it really matter if he's a violent criminal when he's lying about the shape of the earth? I don't know. I mean, that's just what I'm intrigued about from Moose's point of view. You know, why is he being interviewed by what a judge describes as someone who is outrageously violent? Think of it as a force... Why would that be Moose's pick? Did he just not vet the guy? Does he not care so long as he's talking about the Earth being a globe? I mean, we don't have to work at the really is level, but at the really is level, the guy he's talking to beats women. Does he know that? All I can see is the, the amount of tension that Craig's got built up inside, like a spring. It's that tightly sprung. He must have been dying to rip his head off, but he couldn't have done because it's George Moose. <laughs> I'm wondering if George Moser had any idea that he'd be quoted for the next two, three years after that. <laughs> that was it does, it does show why these like fight the flat earth and rumpus exist because like essentially they're stopping us from getting to George Moser and Co. Because Moser's not never going to speak to me. There's no point in even asking him. But it, he will speak to fight, fight the flat earth and then gives us a, a couple of juicy sound bites that we use ad infinitum, right? But it just shows that Craig and, and Rumpus and all them, they are literally gatekeepers. Because imagine if we got to Sabine Hossenfelder. She'd been ripped apart. Ripped, ripped, ripped apart. And she that's why these people exist. No, that's a good point, Anthony. What you're saying is George Musa, by what has actually occurred, would rather talk to an outrageously violent woman-beating criminal than us. Because the outrageously violent criminal promotes the globe. And is not going to ask him awkward questions. Very much.